Hello and welcome to another episode of the Academy. The show says how to bring out the business in you. On the show we meet today is the CEO of Mimsha Global Industries Limited, Ms. Timitoke Babatunde. Timitoke, it's great to have you in the Academy today. Thank you so much, Tara. All right, so tell us, what does Mimshak do? Yeah, Mimshak, we do three basic things. The first one is fashion merchandising. That involves importing shoes and bags, okay. perfume, wrist watches for sale. Then we do skill acquisition trainings. That's um, we train people how to make accessories. Yeah. That's um, fabric accessory jewelries, um, shoes, bags. All right. Then we do financial consulting. Okay. That's basically on investment, maximizing your money. Okay. And in investments, yes. Okay. All right. So how did you become in, come into fabrics accessories business? Well, I started three four years ago. Okay. Um, when I was in my 400 level in school, you know, I just desired to make my own pieces and before I knew it, people were like, okay, do for us, make for us, do this, do that. Okay. So I went to the business, yeah. All right, but has it been lucrative? Yeah, it has been. Yeah, it has been. Yes, okay. it has been. Now, looking at when you started, you said you started from 400 level while in school. Were there any challenges you faced as a young person in business? Mm, challenges, not so. But I was able to leverage on maybe my inner strength. Okay. I was able to forge ahead, yeah. No financial challenge because it doesn't require much capital. So you okay. cannot say financial cha challenge. challenge, yeah. So it's just basically your creativity, how you're okay. able to think, how you're able to strategize. I think the major sh challenge should have been how, how to maybe stand out in the industry, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, now looking at the reliability of Ankara, you see many people going into fabrics accessories and then most i can see most of your designs are in ankara and then there's been a fusion of the western culture with the african culture now how do we combine the two together considering accessories okay my focus in training and in sales has always been to um the working class okay that, that means people that um go for regular jobs okay start work eight close by five and okay I'll, i've been able to okay for my own part of it i've been able to show for the wearability of Ankara or handmade items in the corporate world. Okay. Like what I'm wearing like now. I'm wearing a polka dot dress okay. using a velvet handmade. Okay. Like you made this as well? Yeah, I did. Wow. Yeah. Even the bag. So wow. you could incorporate them to your attire, okay. whether corporate, casual, traditional. Okay. Yeah, they are wearable. Okay. They are wearable wow. pieces, yeah. All right, so tell me about what new trends are available for the fabric accessories business? Well, yes, um, new trends, we can see a mix of um, several te techniques. Okay. okay, like, they are not here, but we have samples of um, buttons okay. with the knowledge of um, bead making, okay. or let's say leather works with fabric. So you can just come up with your own innovative designs. So let's say you already have a background knowledge on something else, you can incorporate, let's say wire works. So you can incorporate okay. that, like what I'm wearing. And um, let's say someone that has wire work knowledge should be able to maybe come up with something okay. like this, yeah. Then mix it up with fabric, these okay. buttons, yes. So um, that's about that. It's just about your own in, um, creativity, creativity, yeah, in the old thing. That will okay. um, stand you out. Okay. All right, now moving over to business opportunities, there are youths at home that have done with their BSCs and they're saying, okay, what can I go into? What, I'm waiting for a job or what, is this? what business opportunities are available to them? Well, in life, I think it matters how you see. Okay, personally, I finished school with a good grade, but I didn't work. Wow. So, okay. till now. I am going to say I admire that quote. Yeah, so I started with this, and I'm still on it. Okay. But then, I'm um, talking about business opportunities. You could start your own accessories line. You can name it whatever you want. Create your own design. Okay. Or just do, like, open your own workshop, whereby maybe you work, mm -hmm. maybe make and um, other people are making, they supply boutiques okay. and all. That's a business opportunity. Or let's say you just specialize on other based kind of thing, maybe souvenirs. Okay. There are some people that just want, let's say for a kids party, they want um, pencil case order, earring, all that. You could just do it in bulk, okay. mass produce, then supply. Okay. Or let's say trainings, which is my strength. Okay. I think um, my own um, vision concerning training has okay. been, I train working class people, people that are working, but I try to 
maybe put out an ex exit strategy. Let's say if they want to stop working, they have something they've learned. Yes. You know, most times when you work for a couple of years, going to learn tailoring might be so <laughs> to um, yeah. You, I don't think person will understand because you're already used to something That's working, different. things coming up very fine, and you can't just imagine starting all over again. Or maybe for people that want to have something alongside, like another stream of income, and okay. um, giving they're in a regular paid job, but they want to do things with their hands, yeah, mm -hmm. then make money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like some people say, yeah, make, make money. money. So I train people. That's okay. my own strength. So let's say you're already good at it. And you have your own designs, you can train people. Okay. Yeah. And focus on that. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to actually do something small for us to interpret. So what will you be doing? Okay, today I just want to maybe show the application of buttons. Okay. Fabric buttons in accessories. All right. Yeah. Okay. And this button bib necklace mm -hmm. was made from um, felt. Then we glued on buttons. Then ribbons okay this ribbon was plated then the buttons were glued on with this hot glue gun and you just arrange the buttons according to the shape there or pattern that you've um drawn out and for this is um, a v-shape yeah so that's about that then you notice it this can go with a simple tank top a casual t-shirt or even corporate, depending on how you mix the buttons. That's a really very nice cherry piece that you've made. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, but welcome. now, you mentioned that you do financial advisory. Now, I'm interested in knowing if there's someone that is already into business, who wants to start a business, what financial advice could you give to such a person? Okay, starting from your aware that I do financial consulting, yeah. Um, I have a theme on that. In the company, we um, do investment consulting. Let's say for okay. people that work or you want to save, how to maximize your income. Yeah. Okay. We do consulting on that and we provide um, policies okay. on how to maximize your money. Yeah, talking about um, what advice I have for someone going into business, I think we need to redefine what entrepreneurship is. Mm -hmm. It's not about money. True. Because if you should go into a business thinking you make money, you might be disappointed. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a vision. You have to have a passion. Okay. okay. So let's say your passion is to let's say, fulfill a purpose. You have to define that before starting anything. Then if you have that passion and purpose, you won't spend your money anyhow. <laughs> you won't just say, okay, I want to buy this, I want to buy that. So and most times, the legal advice people give, sorry, lawyers give is um, separate yourself from the business. That means register your business name or as a limited so that you know that you're paying yourself a salary. So exactly. with how hard I work, graciously work, <laughs> I pay myself from business, not that okay. I live on the business because I think, yeah, you asked me about challenges. I think that was my major challenge okay. because I wasn't working in a paid job. I was just running this business. business. So, and I didn't get the fact that I should be earning salary. So I was living on the business. But as I followed the trend over, let's say, out of four years now, the first year, I saw that, okay, my income was not working right and the business did not have its own mm -hmm. working capital. So I had to just advise myself mm -hmm. and separate myself from the business. So every month, I have what I receive from the business, okay. then all the people working with me, yeah, okay. pay them salaries. All right. So what's next from Nimshak? Next, 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 next. Yeah. We are going global. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going global. Okay. Um, basically, for our trainings, talking about trainings, we've started um, a virtual training class. Oh. Let's say for people that cannot come to our training center to come and learn. Okay. So basically, for accessories making, there's an online site for it already. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. with that, I think we've trained about five people. Yeah. Okay. But we are making sure that, okay, maybe we make it societal such that people will know about it and okay. all. So there will be a website on it. And again, our online store, end of the month, it should be out, okay. yeah? Right. Then what again? Now plan exhibition next next week, yeah? Okay. At um, Vantage Hub at okay. Ikeja, yeah? Okay, I'm very sure you're going to be busy from henceforth. Yeah. Tim Tucker, thank you so much for being with us. The academy has been great having you. Thank you. All right, that'll be all on the academy for this week. For training with Mimshak,
or if you also want to purchase products accessories you could contact us at the academy at webtvng.com also remember that there's something in you that will cost the world to celebrate and the best time to start it is now that will be all on the academy thank you very much for watching